Howdy folks, it's me, Manic Mark, coming to you from the bunker system located underneath the Artville of somewheres in the jungles of the Midwest. And today I'm coming to you with a new hat, but I don't like it. Why? Because you know how I like the Marine Corps lids, or caps, utility caps? Well, you can't get the old-fashioned ones made out of cotton anymore, apparently. Um, and I get those in size large. I've, all, I've got a number of them, and they fit fine. Well, this is a size large, but it's not made out of cotton. So look at it. Look how extra fat this makes my head look. And it doesn't. It just doesn't fit. It just doesn't. I'm really, I'm not happy with it. I should have got the extra fat size, and I didn't. But how was I to know? Things that you shouldn't buy out of a catalog. That's the theme for today. It's special request was put in for Manic Mark product, a Manic Mark product review video. There you go. Um, it's slightly different today. This is the, and you all have probably got this catalog, the things you knew, the things you, I'm reading it backwards, the things you never knew existed catalog. So it's like opposite. It's like before it was the things that I, I, I think are stupid and you shouldn't buy out of a catalog. But this, if you get a catalog that's just full of crap and they make no bones about it, almost everything in here is good, is good and you should buy it because you know what you're getting. It's not like stuff, but there are a few things in here that are sold as things that are gonna help your life be better, and, it, and they're not. They're not gonna make your life be better. For instance, right now, one of the things that always bothers me is these cheap exercises, and it doesn't have to be this one where you lay on your back and you press that stupid thing, those little stupid, like that's not, then they always, hire a model that spends, you know, four hours a day in the gym and eats salads and fruit and stuff like that. And they don't, you know, to, to be a model. And you know, it's not true. It's not true. When you were growing up, everybody, everybody's done this. They bought exercise equipment that they think, and expensive stuff. I bought one of those rowing machines, you know, with the flywheel. You put it in a room and, and there it is in the room. Here I am in the room again for half an hour doing the same motion like oh you'd use it for a week and you're tired of it just go outside for a walk even especially if you live in a bad neighborhood because you're going to build up that adrenaline level and you're going to probably want to run rather than walk you know to avoid from being shot or mugged or something you know you get more exercise let's just say you get more exercise living in a bad neighborhood than if you do just in a nice suburban type neighborhood and there aren't any of those left, are there? Are they? I mean, that's like now what people got cars. They drive to your neighborhood and just to assault you. So any neighborhood you live in, you can just go out and, and just run from people that are chasing you, trying to hurt you. That's the best kind of exercise. You would find these things. Remember, you would find those kind of exercise devices under your parents' bed. They were like that, the rubber thing, or something with batteries in it. They would just go, mm, and you like, how can you get exercise with this? It doesn't weigh anything, and it just vibrates. I kind of like the redneck, the redneck glass here. It's like a, a, a canning jar stemware. It's canning jar stemware. I think that's money well spent. Everybody could use an, an extra glass in their kitchen. Why would you just go to Goodwill and spend 25 cents and buy a set of glasses when you can buy a glass for $17? That doesn't include shipping. New massage for lovers. Okay, what this what this item is missing right here is a lover! It needs to come with somebody that loves you, that wants to give you a massage. I'm too tired to do that today. Leave me alone. There's the Marine Seals Team Sick Bobblehead doll. That's probably what Osama Baloney Laden saw coming through the door. <laughs> Ooh, uh, what else is in here? What else is funny? What else works? That's almost all. It's all good. It's all good stuff. I would like to have all of it. All of this. Now, here's something I especially like. These are toppers for your ketchup bottles. You know how they all come in those plastic bottles now? And you could put these fun toppers on that's like ugh, little monsters that ugh, throw up the condiments onto your hamburgers or whatever. I like a lot of ketchup. When I go out to eat, I like ketchup on, on almost everything but sushi. Sushi, I don't put ketchup on. Countdown to the end of the world. It's not, it's the 20 countdown to the end of the world. The Mayans didn't know. See, the Mayans would have not gone countdown to the end of the world clock. The Mayans would have not gone to all this trouble building that clock, 
the, the countdown, their countdown to the end of the world. I mean, they spent like centuries figuring out when the end of the world was going to happen. If they had known in the catalog things you never knew existed, there was going to be a digital battery operated clock that was going to announce the end of the world. They would have just thrown up their hands and said, what the fuck? Better. Use your time better. I think that's what the message would have been scrawled across all their buildings in, 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 in hieroglyphs. It's like, use your time better and not worrying about the end of the world. What else is going on? Oh, look, here's welded shit that you usually buy at a flea market. There's the farmer, you know, that on his downtime, which I don't can't believe they have any downtime. He like has buckets and nails and bolts, and he like welds together tractors and crap. But in this case, it's a it's a like a, a viper. He wouldn't weld a viper. Only tractors. You ever notice that they only build tractors? Those farmers that weld those things together. It's like they're afraid as an artist to, you know, expand their horizons. It's very sad. Steel shot knuckle gloves. That's something else you need. You you see kids kids wear these and around town and, and and you know they're wearing them because it's 90 degrees in the summer and they got the leather gloves on and they're not riding a motorcycle so you know they're like the steel shot gloves and they're like yeah come on and they could probably got one of those little throwing stars in their belt or something like that they're the first people they're going to be killed instantly even if it's an 80 year old grandmother's just going to stick an umbrella the sharp point right in the eye and the kid's going to be dead I, mm. They're not, you know, you don't advertise, you don't advertise that you can defend yourself by wearing knuckle shot gloves and carrying the, the goth throwing star set, you know, with the black eyeliner. You don't announce yourself like that in a bad neighborhood. Men's Maximum Orgasmic Pleasure DVD. I'm just, I just saw that. What does this, what does this, teach men how to unlock the natural sexual energy within them to reach the highest plateaus of prolonged orgasmic pleasure. The E word. Which I'm, this is a this is a family show, the Manning Mark show. I'm not gonna say ejaculation right out in the open and everything. You don't need a DVD to figure out how to do that. It's just that stupid. And you wouldn't think it in this catalog of all these things that are silly, right up front, things you never knew existed. They have an educational page. There are books in here on the real Bigfoot. Bigfoot is real. Real ghosts, UFOs, and close encounters. I mean, who needs a library? When you can, do, do libraries carry? Do they have a section like this? They just need to have a section like this. And that would be the most used section of the entire library. There's people trying to figure out Bigfoots are real. And, and, and UFO secrets of World War II, they haven't solved that yet for me. The world's most expensive coin. You can buy it here for, for $10, $9.98, the world's most expensive coin. You don't need to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars that those other people claim with their coins and their fancy coin auctions. You can get it right there. It says it right there. It's, it's gold-plated and everything. Is it time to insert a pause? Oh, man, where are we going with this? t-shirts, sparkling musical birthday cake topper puts on a dazzling show. What? The candles that you can't blow out aren't funny enough that you have to spend $6.98 for a birthday cake topper? Oh, well, you can get two for $10. I guess that's a deal. UFOs do not exist. How dare they? UFOs do not exist. I'm I think I should just throw this in the trash right now. That's that's not that's not good. I don't like to be ch I don't like to have my belief systems challenged whatsoever. Even in, in especially in a catalog like this where you know everything's real. You would expect to see that in here. Very expensive Halloween stuff. How do people here this this animatronic figure right there for eighty dollars? How do people afford to enjoy Halloween? I can't afford Halloween, therefore I don't enjoy it. You have to spend so much money to enjoy anything these days. There's the hat with the fan in it. Everybody has that. I'm getting, you get to the back of the catalog and they kind of like slide into the, the, the sort of the typical gifts that everybody has, like the hat with the fan. And I have anti monkey butt wipes. And I monkey butt wipes. What's this? Sand Sun swim, swimsuit supermodels portfolio. <gasps> oh. 
trap a cap, trap a crap, odor eliminator. Say that three times fast. Trap a crap. I suppose you can. I suppose you can say that three times fast. That actually does flow off the tongue rather nicely. Yeah, for three hundred nineteen dollars, they would put that in here. Three hundred nineteen dollars. Standalone DVD duplicator. All you need to do is go to their educational system, order the Bigfoot is real DVD, and make about 300 copies of this. Go to your local flea market and sell them and make your money back. That is if the FBI does it. You know they do that. They just walk around and they look for shit like that, and then then you're in jail. Don't do that. Don't say it. Don't. I mean, Manic Mark told me to do that. No, I didn't. Oh man. I can get it off with the male orgasmic DVD, make 300 copies of that. That's what I kind of get off on. Never mind, you didn't need to put that in. Where was the keychain with the boobs? There was a keychain with boobs in here somewhere. I don't. I haven't got to it yet. Godzilla t-shirt, It's that's no good. It's not the old-fashioned Godzilla. I don't like that. More t-shirts. More. T There's a million t-shirts. Oh, they've got the, I want the price compare. See, the other thing is when you get these catalogs, here's the hats with the hair that I kind of like. I was thinking about getting one, and I need to price compare this $20 hat with the hats and the, uh, the hair hats in the other catalog, just to make sure I'm getting the best deal. Oh, look, and there's the toilet mug again. I almost, I almost, that was a favorite, the toilet mug. You can get it in here. I should price compare these things. The boob keychain. I was gonna like sh show it, hold it up, and show it to you, but now I've gone past it or something. There's butt cheeks mug. There's a there's a mug in the shape of butt cheeks. Well, I show that mug in the shape of butt cheeks. So how do you? I don't know what the process is to make these. And you know, there's just somebody sitting in their house one day, and they wake up, and they're saying it would be fun to have a mug in the shape of butt cheeks. It's like you're drinking your coffee out of someone's ass. And how do I make this into a product? What do they do? Do they call like a help number in China and say, do you got a factory there that you can shoot some plastic into a mold and make a mug that looks like butt cheeks? In China, they probably got a, a whole bureaucracy set up with an 800 phone number. It wouldn't be 800, it'd be one, one, something. There'd be like this long international thing. Then you call it up and you get a hold of somebody that can direct you right to the factory that squirts plastic into a mold to make a mug that looks like butt cheeks. And you got 500 of them on your doorstep the next day, Federal Express airship direct from China. Smile with confidence. Why go to the dentist and spend thousands of dollars when you just get good teeth? Right here. Good teeth for $34.98. I'm starting to get indigestion. Oh, I think I need a beer. Wow, that's not good. Oh. Oh. Best Sexual Positions DVD. Best Sexual Positions. Again, the best sexual positions are the ones you're going to discover usually by yourself on Saturday night after you've had a couple of beers. Just wait a minute and we'll get the DVD out and we'll figure out what's the best. No, there's no time for that. You can't waste your time watching a DVD to figure it out because you're usually done before you get the DVD in and you have you click, you know, or the person's like, what, what? I don't want to spend this time just sitting here. Mm, here's a miracle pendant. I, mean, I kind of like this. For $20, contains four powerful miraculous substances. It's a miracle pendant. Four miraculous powerful substances. Water from Lourdes. Miracle water from River Jordan. Sacred earth from Fatima. And, ho hollow earth, and hallowed earth from Bethlehem. Man, somebody had to travel all over to get dirt and water. That's pretty much a miracle. Oh, oh man, I'm having a heart attack or something. Anyway, that's the end of that's the end of my product reviews for this week. Thanks, folks.